Hi and welcome to Market Conversations. Just want to do a quick video on Bed Bath & Beyond. It was up over 7%. But before I continue, just want to let you know that I am not a financial advisor. This is just for entertainment purposes. So it closed at 0.2589. And if we take a look at a daily chart, it did hit a low of 0.048. This is right when it first opened in the OTC market. And since then, it rallied up to 0.25. I currently have 46,000 shares. I did sell 10,000 shares yesterday just to take some profits. But you can see here, I still have $11,000 in BBBY and I'm up almost $4,000. But overall, I'm still down about $3,000 now from buying call options. I didn't think the stock would plummet all the way to 0.25. 25. The stock was trading around $30 just last August. So I'm hoping that we can possibly get to at least a dollar in the next few months. If we can continue this momentum, anything is possible in the OTC markets. I do want to show you an article. Is Ryan Cohen going to save bankrupt Bed Bath & Beyond stock? History may be about to repeat itself for Bed Bath & Beyond. Some speculate that noted investor Ryan Cohen could be gearing up to place a bid on the company. Even if Cohen takes Bed Bath & Beyond, there's no guarantee the retailer will become profitable again. Once again, the future of Bed Bath & Beyond is hanging on a thread. Last month, the home furnishing retailer declared bankruptcy after months of closing stores and watching shares plunge. After delisting from the NASDAQ, the company began trading over the counter. Shares have been highly volatile ever since. Today, BBBYQ stock is rising as anticipation mounts around its upcoming stock and horse bid schedule for June 1st. Part of the driving force behind this is the possibility of noted main stock investor Ryan Cohen using the opportunity to take over the trouble company. However, this doesn't mean investors should be buying shares. What's more, even if Cohen does throw his hat in the ring, there's no guarantee he'll be able to make Bed Bath & Beyond profitable. While Bed Bath & Beyond did start the trading off well, it's proving very volatile. As of this writing, BBYQ stock is up 9% for the day. The current trajectory doesn't seem sustainable. That said, BBBYQ has also been climbing over the past 5 days as momentum builds for the fast approaching June 1st deadline. The deadline for Debner's to select a stock and horse bid for some or all of Bed Bath's assets have been set for June 1st, moved from the original deadline of May 22nd. The stock and horse bid will set a low range of bids, meaning no one can bid below the stock and horse bid. This bid is also sent place before the actual auction and acts as a reverse reserve bid. Penn also notes that buyers will have until June 7th to make a final bid. This represents an opportunity for Cohen to potentially swoop in and help stabilize Bed Bath as he once did before. Easy to see why retail traders still placing ill-advised bets on the unstable mean stock are excited. However, they shouldn't forget that Cohen also helped tank BBBY stock when he offloaded his entire share in August 2022. While Cohen walked away with a profit of $68 million, retail traders were left holding the bag. As much as some mean stock investors want to see Cohen as, as their savior, they shouldn't ignore the past. What comes next? BBYQ stock is likely to keep rising as the stocking horse bid deadline approaches. But for investors, this is still a time to be careful, not jump in with both feet. There's just too much instability hanging over this company for it to be a smart investment, even with the current price of around 25 cents per share. I'm going to continue to hold on to my shares, so that is definitely acting as a catalyst. So guys, if you're planning to get more shares, just be aware and only invest what you can afford to lose. I'm hoping that this can break 30 cents, 50 cents, and then a dollar before June 1st. There's still some time. We still have two days this week. Monday's a holiday. So guys, let me know if you bought more shares and thanks for watching.